What's the crack YouTube? Just doing a quick video on orcs, Forge World orcs. Are, are they worth it? Um, well, it depends. For me, buying Forge World orcs models, um, it is worth it. I started buying Forge World orc models in 2014 because I go to um, an event in Warhammer World twice a year where we have mega battles. Beforehand, I was a bit skeptical because older rules for Forge World stuff, you used to have to have your permission of your enemy to play them beforehand. So they were sort of like official, unofficial. Now with the Compendium out, there's no issue at all. You can bring them along to any of your games. It'll tell you if it takes up whatever force organization slot. So, you know, I don't see I don't see an issue on that regard in regards to rules. You can take these units as alternate units in your army. Um, why would you want to collect Forge World Orc miniatures? Well, they look cool. I mean, like, look at this. This is a bundle that Forge World sells. It's £350, I think, currently. Um, so you get two kill tanks and the Big Mac Custom Stomper. This bundle will save you, I think it's about £50 off of the retail price if you buy in a bundle as opposed to separately. So you actually get some money off as opposed to the Games Workshop bundle sets um, where they just save you clicks. So, yeah, that's, you know, £350. That's a lot of money, though. So, you know what I mean? It just depends. Other reasons why you would want to collect Forge World Orcs is you want to expand your collection. Maybe you're at the stage where I was where you own all of the current range of Orcs um, apart from any fine, or should I say fail cast rubbish, and you want to expand your collection. Uh, the Forge World miniatures are, like I said, you know, they're, they're valid options that they look good in any collection. Um, if you're hesitant to convert miniatures like me, and um, you're afraid you might screw up like the likes of a battle wagon if you're converting and stuff, buying the kill tanks, that they're great inspiration, you know what I mean? Um, they look really good and they might inspire you to actually go and convert things yourself, you know what I mean? If you get the dimensions, there's nothing to stop me from buying a kill tank and then doing what I plan on doing in the future, which is converting land raiders into kill tanks because they're roughly about the same dimension, the footprint of a land raider, just have to build it up a bit. Um. Yeah, reasons why you wouldn't want to buy Forge World Orc miniatures. They are expensive. If you're going to go down the Forge World path, you need uh, deep pockets. They are very expensive miniatures. And like I said, this bundle over here sets you back €350. Euros. It is, uh, it's not cheap. Not at all. Um, other issues you might have is your models might be discontinued. Since we happen quite a lot lately with a... Uh, with orcs, the orc line has become uh, smaller and smaller. But I'll talk about that and the state of orcs with Forge World in another video. Um, other reasons which may turn people off is that the miniatures are either resin or multi-part plastic and resin miniatures. So you're going to need some advanced hobbying skills in regards to assembly and manipulation of resin. Um, I've sometimes they, they're slightly warped from the casting process so you might have to bend a piece back into place there's generally two methods of it but we'll go into detail in another video about that in regards to building Forge World miniatures the instructions you get with the miniatures are, are they're not great at all you have to be a very visual person for me it's not too bad I spent most of my youth building the Lego sets, so I'm used to looking at bits of stuff and figuring out where it goes. It's not too much of an issue for me, but for other people who need step-by-step -step, um, instructions, it might be a bit of a problem. Um, but yeah, that's I'd say they're, they're the main cons would be like, it's expensive, uh, you need advanced skills in regards to assembly, and the materials. You know, resin is different to plastic. Um, for instance, if you're filing resin down, resin dust isn't really good for your health. Um, they're, well, breathing anything in that isn't air is pretty bad for your lungs anyway. But resin dust is particularly bad if it's in inhaled. So you need to be careful in that regard. But um, yeah, um, overall, I'd say buy them. I think they're cool. I've bought a fair few of them so far. And they're fun when you get to see, your, you know big units on the table and you're playing big apocalypse battles and 
there's big machines on either side tearing lumps out of each other like the warlord titan which pretty much costs the, the amount of a small second-hand car i think it's about a thousand two hundred and fifty pounds or something along that lines it, it looks cool um i haven't fought against one i've seen one in the um the miniature display in warhammer world it, it looks sweet and go if you ever get the chance to go to the warhammer world into the forge world store i suggest you go and do so you get to see some of the miniatures on display there unpainted so you get to actually see them and they're, they're pretty cool like it's very inspiring to go and see the miniatures uh first hand and that they have everything that they, they currently produce i think is displayed so yeah overall i'd say go for it i'd go for it um if you have the cash for it yeah if you don't have the cash and you don't really have the skill to be assembling resin miniatures then i'd probably stick to the to the standard games workshop kits like battle wagons and maybe convert like a a bane blade or so 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 that's it for this vid guys um, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to be informed uh, of any videos that come up. Because YouTube like you to subscribe twice for some reason. So, there you go guys. Thanks for watching the vid and I'll see you on the next one.